I do too. They get in the bottom of a mayonnaise jar good. We, we're talking about y'all, these little small spatulas. And uh, we were down at the restaurant yesterday at the Lady and Sons. And Eddie said, ladies, Paula gave all her uh, little half spatulas away to some girls that were at the house the other day and said they liked them. So she just took them out of her door and said, okay, here. Well, the store is also out of them, too. And Eddie said, you got one more, and it's going home with me <laughs> when she goes looking for a half spatula. So I just love that size. But anyway, speaking of the restaurant yesterday, or day before yesterday, uh, I met so many wonderful people, and uh, one young man came up to me, and he said, I miss that chicken pot pie so much. And our chicken pot pie is delicious, the one that we served at the restaurant. But uh, when COVID came, we restructured our menu. So uh, we have chicken and dumplings on the menu, but not the chicken pot pie. And, you know, we did that beautiful lattice, puff pastry, lattice topping. And uh, so chicken pot pie is, is so many people's just favorite unpretentious, just comfort home food. So this recipe, and I've got so many recipes for so many different chicken pot pies, so you just use the way that you want to go. Now this one is super, super, super simple, and it is delicious. Now I'm going to start with a can of cream of chicken soup, and I'm just pouring it right in the dish that we're going to cook this in. Okay, so that's pretty good. All right, now I'm going to add a cup of chicken stock. And I'm just going to blend this up real good. Well, it's kind of smooth. And you'll kind of want to do this in small amounts so you won't lose control over it. Like best the the uh, pie crust top or the pastry. <laughs> you know, I I just love the presentation, Eddie, of that lattice top on that chicken pot pie. Oh, yeah. But I think maybe my favorite chicken pot pie is when I roll out my dough and I I lattice it with my homemade. Homemade dough, you know, cut it into strips, and oh my gosh, it's good. But now that one is a lot of work. I, I like I like the puff pastry, but I almost feel like I'm getting cheated a little bit when you bite into it. I, I, I like the you know the weightiness of a pie dough. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. All right, I'm gonna add some salt and some pepper to that. This is a great dish if you have, like, leftover chicken. All right. Now, we're just going to use a frozen vegetable of mixed vegetables. And you can put as much as you want or as little as you want. You know, if you can get your children to eat some vegetables, I guess that's a good thing. I know if my grands see anything green, they run the other way. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is put our chicken over that, our beautiful, beautiful chicken. This one's going to be real meaty, Eddie. Is that what you want? Do you feel like it needs more meat? Uh, you feel like you're not getting enough meat yeah. with a puff pastry? <laughs> okay. We're almost, we're almost home with this pie, y'all. All right. I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to use my biscuit mix. And I'm going to add a cup of milk to that. This is a great hurry-up meal. 
y'all. Uh, you can pull any leftover chicken out of your refrigerator. Or you can go by the grocery store, you know, and pick up a roaster that's already, already cooked. But you really feel like your children and your husband, your wife are all getting a, you know, uh, a meal that's had some effort put in it without a whole bunch of effort. Okie dokie. And I'm just going to pour this on top of our good stuff. Holy camoly, this is going to be so good and so easy. How long? Look at that hand coming in there to get that dirty dish. All right. Now for the last piece of goodness, I'm going to drizzle our butter over the top of our crust. If that ain't going to be delicious, grits ain't groceries, y'all. <laughs> it's time for supper. 350, mm -hmm. 25 minutes, maybe? I think it's like a good bit longer on the rest of the I can't remember, but it's not going to take long because everything's really cooked in it except for the topping. Look at here, y'all. You know, how easy was that chicken pot pie? And I do love. Just plain old honest uh, dishes that, you know, no tricks, just right. That looks so good. <laughs> Doesn't that look so good? And you know what, Eddie? I can't taste it right now because it would pull the skin off my tongue if I've got skin on it. We've got skin on our tongue, don't mm -hmm. we? <laughs> and I don't want to take it off. So we're going to let this cool. And then I'm going to come back and share the taste of it with y'all. <laughs> y'all, our pot pie has finally cooled off enough for me to give it a taste. And, you know, I don't think I'm going to be able to hide the fact that I went in this early. <laughs> We're not saving this for anybody, are we? <laughs> for lunch. <laughs> It looks delicious. And like I said, the ease of this dish is incredible. Mm. I could eat that whole biscuit topping off of it, y'all. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. It's delicious. I'm only going to say this thing about it. I put too much salt in it at some point. So be careful of your salt. Because it is salty and ever so good. Mm. Loving best dishes, y'all. This is a great Sunday night supper. Mm -hmm. Spend the day with your family and then come in and take five minutes and throw this together. And they'll think you're Betty Crocker. <laughs> hey, y'all. It's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Loving best dishes, y'all.